find the equation of the parabola in the standard form if the equation of the parabola in the general form is given by x squared plus 2x minus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0. So this is the general form of the parabola and our task is to find the standard form so the general form is given so what shall we do by inspection x must be positive or negative one as well as the y it must be positive or negative one so since we have equal sign, automatic shift call. Oh, wait. May nakalimutan po tayo. We have two unknowns. Therefore, shift itong comma and ang isusolve natin ay y. Pwede namang x. It's up to you. So, for now, y. Shift call. So, what is x? x is equal to, let's say, 1. Solve for y, y is 0. So, 1 is automatic out. Since the option shows na either positive or negative 1. So, when 1 is equal, rather when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So, out na natin si x is equal to 1. So, out na natin si x minus 1. Out na si a. Okay? Then, let's try x is equal to negative 1. Okay? Solve for y. y is negative 1. So, when x is negative 1, y is equal to negative 1 then so our option will be so out na ulit si b out na si a and b and ang options na lang natin ay c and d ngayon balikan po natin ang ating general form or gen uh, yeah general form when when we convert the standard the general form rather General form to standard form. Si x squared, dahil isa lang dapat ang squared ng par parabola. So, nasa kabila yung squared. Nasa kanan yung walang squared. Therefore, automatic na magiging 4. 4. So, dito tayo sa d. Plus 4. Hindi siya negative 4. Letter d is the answer. The given general form of the parabola is x squared plus 2x minus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0. Kailan nga ba natin malalaman na parabola ang isang general form? Kapag either x or y ang naka-squared. Take note, either isa lang kina x or y ang naka-squared. So let's check. Yes, x squared lang. Si y ay walang squared. Therefore, it is a parabola. So, we have the general form and we also have the standard form. Ano-ano yung standard form ng parabola? As you can see, we have 2. x minus h squared is equal to plus or minus 4a times y minus k. And the other one y minus k squared is equal to plus or minus 4a times the quantity of x minus h. Kailan yung number 1, kailan yung number 2, at kailan yung positive at kailan yung negative. For number 1, si y po yung walang squared. Therefore, it's either upward or downward ang ating parabola. 
doon papasok si positive or negative. Talking about y-axis, kailan po positive yung points? Sa so y-axis, kapag above the x-axis or above the origin, right? Therefore, positive C parabola kapag opens upward. Tapos, negative naman siya kapag opens downward just like the y-axis. Na yung pababa niya ay negative. So, yun. Yun po yung basis natin. Pareho lang din naman pagdating sa y minus k squared is equal to plus or minus 4a times x minus h. x. x is horizontal. So, kapag horizontal, opens to the left and opens to the right. Opens to the right, goes to positive. Diba? Ganun yung x-axis natin. Going far away from the origin, positive. To the right. And to the left naman, mas nagigis siyang negative. Negative. So, ganun din. Yun na lang yung gawin nating reference sa pag-recall ng positive or negative signs ng ating parabola. So, yun lang yun. Hope, medyo malinaw. Kahit pa paano. So, going back to our problem, our general form to be converted to its standard form is x squared plus 2x minus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, ang susunta natin ay yung number 1 dahil si x yung naka-squared. So, Paano natin gagawin? Mag-completing the square. x squared plus 2x plus the second term. Paano natin kukunin yung third term natin? Second term divided by 2. Then, a squared natin or times itself. So, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Okay? Then, di ba yung y natin ay nasa kanan? So, equal sign. Transpose. Change the positive. Ay, sorry. Change the sign convention. So, si negative 4y ay magiging 4y and plus 3 naman si negative 3. But wait. We added 1 sa left side. Therefore, mag a din tayo sa right side. Yan. Then, simplify x plus 1. Sana po nakakasunod kayo ah. Is equal to, labas natin si 4 kasi common. 4 times y plus one. Ba't nagkaganon? ba ang magiging ano natin dito? 4y plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 4y plus 4. Nilabas natin si 4. Therefore, y plus 1 times 4 is equal to 4. y plus 4. Okay? So, the answer is x plus 1 squared is equal to 4 times the quantity of y plus 1. Just the same nung sa Caltech natin. So, Dito, for me, for me lang ito, mas madali ang mag-manual. As long as alam, alam natin yung standard form. And, wag na wag po natin kakalimutang i-master ang basic concepts. Kasi atin pong tandaan na si Caltech ay tulong lamang. Tulong lamang po ito. At si, mas, I mean, si basic concepts pa rin ang magdadala talaga. Kasi, Wala naman tayong i-input kung hindi natin alam yung basic concepts eh. So please, please, huwag kakalimutan ang basic concepts kasi sobrang mahalaga. Okay? Good luck sa review. Galingan nyo po, kayang-kaya nyo.